A magnetic filament connected to Sunspot AR 3757 erupted recently, sending two plumes of dark-colored plasma careening into space. This event set the stage for a series of exciting developments, including the formation of a coronal mass ejection and the potential for breathtaking auroras in several states. But this isn't just another solar flare. It's a phenomenon that offers new insights into solar activity and highlights advancements in space weather forecasting. In this video, we'll delve into the details of this eruption and navigate the solar cycle's current status. So without further ado, let's get started. On July 21st, 2024, an extraordinary solar event unfolded, captivating both scientists and space enthusiasts. A magnetic filament connected to Sunspot AR 3757 erupted, ejecting two plumes of dark plasma into space, and it was captured in exquisite detail by NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory. Magnetic filaments are dense and cool gas structures suspended above the sun's surface by magnetic forces. These appear as dark lines against the solar disk in specific wavelengths of light and are often found in regions with complex magnetic fields. When these filaments become unstable, they can release vast amounts of energy, leading to phenomena such as solar flares or coronal mass ejections. This eruption led to a coronal mass ejection, where the dark plasma that shot out from the sun became the main part of the CME. This plasma was cooler and denser than the surrounding material, and as it moved through space, it gathered more mass, growing into a stronger CME. Instruments like the SOHO coronagraph tracked this CME and noticed a halo around it, which showed it was heading towards Earth and expected to arrive July 24, 2024. This CME interacting with Earth's magnetic field was expected to increase geomagnetic activity. This could lead to stunning displays of auroras, or northern lights, across the skies of northern and upper Midwest states from New York to Idaho. Researchers have detected early signs of Solar Cycle 26, even though Solar Cycle 25 has not yet peaked. At the University of Birmingham, scientists used helioseismology to study starquakes, which are sound waves traveling through the sun's interior. These starquakes provide crucial data on the sun's internal processes and have revealed patterns indicating the onset of Solar Cycle 26. Helioseismology, much like seismology on Earth, allows scientists to peer inside the sun and understand its structure and dynamics. Researchers use this technique to measure starquakes on the sun, revealing how it rotates. Unlike a solid body, the sun, composed of superheated gas or plasma, experiences differential rotation, where different layers rotate at varying speeds. This creates visible bands called solar torsional oscillations, with some bands rotating faster and others slower. During the solar cycle, these bands move between the sun's poles and equator, with faster rotational belts typically indicating the beginning of a new cycle. The transition from solar cycle 25 to 26 highlights the dynamic nature of our sun and the continuous need for accurate space weather forecasting. Solar cycles typically last about 11 years, with peaks and troughs of activity. The early indications of solar cycle 26 provide an opportunity to refine predictive models and improve our understanding of the sun's behavior. NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory has been observing the sun since 2010, collecting helioseismic data using its onboard helioseismic and magnetic imager. This data, along with records stretching back to 1995 from the Michelson Doppler imager on the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory, allows scientists to track the sun's rotational patterns over multiple cycles. Researchers have noted that fast-moving material and sunspots typically migrate towards the sun's equator in a pattern that has repeated during cycles 23, 24, and 25, and now shows early signs ahead of cycle 26. The sun's magnetic field flips at the peak of each cycle, leading to increased solar activity, including sunspots, flares, and CMEs. Understanding these patterns and the part they play in the sun's plasma and magnetic fields helps advance space weather forecasting.
Researchers at Aberystwyth University have developed a method to predict CME speed by studying the critical height of active regions on the sun, where the magnetic field becomes unstable, leading to an eruption. By measuring how the magnetic field strength decreases with height, scientists can determine this critical height. Using this data and geometric models tracking CMEs in three dimensions, researchers can accurately predict the speed and arrival time of these solar eruptions. Accurate prediction of CME speed and arrival time can significantly enhance our preparedness for space weather events. The ability to predict their speed early in development allows for more accurate warnings of potential impacts on Earth. Geomagnetic storms can cause power outages, communication blackouts, and damage to satellites. Early warnings enable operators to take preventive measures, such as adjusting satellite orbits or protecting power grids from surges. The research presented at the Royal Astronomical Society's National Astronomy Meeting underscores the significance of these advancements. Harshita Gandhi, a solar physicist at Aberystwyth University, emphasized that their findings reveal a strong relationship between the critical height at CME onset and the true CME speed. This insight allows for precise predictions, enhancing our ability to forecast space weather events. In conclusion, we've explored the recent solar eruptions, the early signs of Solar Cycle 26, and advancements in solar storm forecasting. These developments highlight the dynamic nature of our sun and the importance of continuous monitoring and research. Understanding and predicting solar activity is crucial for protecting Earth's technological infrastructure and ensuring the stability of our modern society. Continuous advancements in space weather forecasting play a vital role in this effort. Thank you for watching this video. Stay informed about space weather events and their potential impacts on Earth. Keep an eye out for the upcoming auroras in northern Michigan and Maine and appreciate the beauty and power of our ever-changing sun.